Here's how New Vegas normally works. You complete quests, you kill people, you lie, you cheat, you steal, you act with extreme caution when using any recreational chems. You do all sorts of fun stuff. Your choices influence the characters in the game, resulting in different endings depending on what choices you've made. However, through the use of console commands, you can bypass all of that. You can essentially jump straight to the end game slideshow before you do any quests. But if you never do anything other than leave the main menu, what is shown during the end game slideshow? Before we go any further, allow me to address a comment I know I'll be getting. Yes, this is cheating. That's the entire point of the video. It's answering a question that normally can't be answered unless you cheat. With that out of the way, we can move on. To get to the slideshow, we need a few pieces of information. We need a console command and two specific numeric values. The console command we'll be using is the set stage command, which requires a quest ID and a stage ID. The quest form ID is essentially just a numeric string used in the game's code to represent any given quest. Instead of saying the house always wins every time that quest is referenced, the game's code can just say 00147885. It just makes things easier. The quest stage ID is a smaller numeric string that represents which part of the quest you're on at a given time. You can think of a stage as which quest objective you're currently trying to complete. It really doesn't matter which endgame quest we use, but I went with Eureka just because I almost never side with the NCR. Death to profligates and all that. Now, all that's left is to enter it into the console window, set stage, 00133075.30 is the exact syntax. After I hit enter, the end game slideshow will play. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The New California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. Though the courier's agenda was debated by many, he was honored by NCR for his support of the military at Hoover Dam. He was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. After the Battle of Hoover Dam, the NCR mounted several campaigns against the Boomers, but all were quickly ended by the Boomers' artillery. Over time, as the boomers found a need for gunpowder, they developed a relationship with the gunrunners, trading their surplus crops for munitions. Never weakened by NCR, the fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. Though NCR repulsed the fiends, they suffered heavy losses in the process. After the NCR's victory at the dam, the followers of the apocalypse were pushed out of Old Mormon Fort during its occupation by NCR forces. NCR further encouraged them to leave Outer Vegas entirely, and the followers had no choice but to comply. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland, but with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. After driving the Legion out of the Mojave Wasteland, the victorious NCR turned its attention to those who had allied themselves with Caesar. The Great Khans were among the first tribes to suffer this fate, and the few who survived Hoover Dam were driven north, into the wilderness of Idaho. As the NCR moved to secure the region, the occupation of Freeside proved especially problematic. Things remained tense due to numerous incidents, though the kings were still in nominal control of the area. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, 
and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. Alright, that's going to do it for this video about how Fallout New Vegas ends if you don't do anything to anyone. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.